Imagine waking up and finding out that your children, your flesh and blood, are not biologically yours. Messed up world, wouldn't it? Your life will be in shambles. A devoted father has revealed he discovered the three sons he had raised for more than 20 years were not his when doctors told him he had been infertile since birth. Wow. Wife is forced to pay husband 250,000 pounds for tricking him into believing three sons were his for 21 years after doctor told him he was infertile. Businessman Richard Mason, 55 years old, was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis in 2016. Doctor at Liverpool's Broad Green Hospital said there was no way he was the father. Mr. Mason launched a rare paternity fraud case against ex-wife Kate, who's 54 years old, who had received four million pounds lump sum in divorce settlement and ongoing maintenance. So she divorced him, was getting good money. And on top of that, she, wow. That's messed up. Imagine that. See, it stings a little more because he has sons, boys. He most likely played baseball, basketball, football, taught his sons everything. See, you just can't trust women these days. I'm serious, man. I'm just being honest. You cannot trust them. Just imagine all the options they have. And it's not about being insecure. Just look at all the options women have. They can opt on a, on an online dating app. They can go on Facebook. They can go anywhere. They can cheat at the drop of a dime. Devastated Mr. Mason never doubted he was the boy's biological dad until two years ago when he was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis, an inherited disease which present, prevents male sufferers from fathering children naturally. DNA and other tests Later confirmed beyond a doubt that his that this businessman has no biological link to his eldest, now 23 years old, and his 19-year-old twin boys. Mr. Mason believes that the same man fathered all three boys during an, an intimate four-year affair his wife, Kate, 54, embarked on in the late 1990s. So she was cheating. See, that's why I don't want to get married, man. This is why I would never get married. Man, I would never have a long-term relationship ever with a woman. Because as a man, you must invest. You must put your all in. You must grind. You must take care of her, provide. And she can go out and cheat on you anytime and divorce you and take your money. The heart-wrenching case came to light when Mr. Mason launched a legal bid to claw back some of the four million pounds his wife received in the divorce settlement, as well as suing her for paternity fraud. As a result, two of the boys have since broken off contact with him. Wow. He said he, said he still sees the boys on Facebook and it's heart wrenching because he was he saw the graduation of the eldest on there, but it, but he uh, he wasn't invited. He couldn't even go see his ex biological son graduate. That has to be that's to hurt badly. Somebody you raised, you thought it was your flesh and blood, your son, your own seed, your namesake. All three of them aren't yours. He also says, I walk past the toy store and it reminds him of buying Christmas presents for them when they were younger. He also said, and when friends post things on Facebook about their own families, he gets sad. 
Because his sons are taken away from him. Isn't that messed up? His own three sons don't want anything to do with him. Don't want to talk to him. After her, and it, I mean, the mother did give birth. But still, a man raised you through elementary school, middle school, high school. And now you don't want nothing to do with him because your mother slept around. Because your mother was disloyal. How could she live with herself? You know how she can live with herself? Because women only care about the money. They only care about the resources, guys. She messed around. Now it's reported that she said she know who the father is. So she knew, basically. You know why she stayed with him, Mr. Mason, the husband? And divorced him because she wanted the money. This is all about women are survivalists. Wow, man, I keep telling you guys, this infuriates me. I got two children of my own. Guys, go get a DNA test. If you have children right now, go get a paternity test because these women are savages. They sleep around with any and everybody. And when it comes to getting your money, they have no issue with doing it. That's a woman's job on this planet to leech off you, cling on you and get resources. And what's crazy about all this, I guarantee you, she didn't even apologize, this woman, Kate. She didn't say sorry. She didn't say anything. I promise you she didn't. I feel bad for Mr. Mason. 55 years old, he thought he had his namesake. Three boys, he probably traveled around to different venues. Traveling teams. Sporting events. He helped his kids ride bikes, helped them tie his shoes. They used to call him daddy and dad. And I'm positive all three of them got his last name still. Now, at 55 years old, still paying alimony, which he's trying to retract and, and sue her to get back, which he probably won't because you know how the courts are against men. Now he's suffering. He wakes up every day knowing that he somehow has three sons out there, but they're biologically not his. How do you live with yourself? This woman, Kate, they didn't give her a last name. How can you live with yourself? Guys, go get a DNA test. Go find out if, those, if your children are, are, are actually yours biologically. This is heart-wrenching. He wasn't even invited to his son's graduation. Everything his whole life that he worked hard for taken from him at the hands of a female. 